how's it going everybody? Hope we're all doing all alright today. It is <sighs> just walked up. Hey, you can't really see it. Just walked up a big hill. <laughs> uh, I'm here in the Yorkshire Dales, God's own country, as it is termed. Um, yeah, I'm at Bolton Abbey. Well, it's been for a little mooch around there. Uh, it's only three o'clock on the 2nd of October, and uh, yeah, I'm here for a wild camp. Uh, just making my way, uh, following the river down below. I don't know if you can hear it on the video, but eventually it should lead me out to uh, Moorland and Woodland Way. Hopefully, I can find somewhere to camp tonight. But yeah, just here for one night. So if you want to stick around, see what I get up to, please do. It's uh, 2nd of October today, quite a nice mild day, Mr Blue, he's out and about, uh, you know, touch wood, it's not forecast to rain, um, even if it does, what can you expect now, we're in October, we're in autumn, uh, I am going to have to battle against the elements now for the rest of this year and into 2023 for any wild camps that we do, uh, but yeah, um, what is, what do I need to tell you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to try and find somewhere to camp, but my actual priority right now, as per, is to find a bar. <laughs> Just for a quick pint, and then I'll head off into the wild. Um, and really my priority should be trying to find somewhere to sleep, but there ain't going to be nowhere to sleep around here because there's loads of people. So this is very much, you know, a national trust here at land if you will uh, so there won't be much hope trying to wild well, camping here tonight uh, but I'll find somewhere a bit more remote later on but for now like I say priorities to find a pub and I'm under the impression at the end of this walk there is one so I'll do this walk on the map it says from the Abbey for well, the T Devonshire Arms which is this really posh upmarket wedding venue slash bar uh, me and my dad went to this tea shop uh, and then you know, bid each other farewell till tomorrow morning. Um, and uh, yeah, um, what should I call it? Oh, look at that. Let me see that. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I very nearly stopped at the Devonshire Arms for a, for, a, for a pint, but I'm glad I didn't because I'd have been royally ripped off in there, I reckon. Because uh, it looked quite upmarket, so I'm battening on, I'm cracking on, and it said from there to this other pub at the end of this walk, it's 70 minutes or so. I'll do it in 50, big foot some bobbits. <laughs> but yeah, like a madman, I start my uh, first day at work tomorrow, my new job, so making the most out of my freedom. One more wild camp, and then three o'clock tomorrow, I'll be at work. Oh, bad. Hey, okay. bags and box. Map time. So I'm here, because it says you are here. And we go all the way up here. Snake th along this river, up to this aqueduct, and then Biden Tower, where I'm expecting there's a bar. So, yeah. See how we get on. Potential. Pitch bigs and box. You reckon? I think I could shimmy on over across that little island. Do a little stealth camp there. Tempting. Very, very tempting. I'm not going to think too far ahead. So we've still got quite a ways to walk yet. But don't hurt to just keep your eyes out for 
potential spots to pitch up for later on. Problem is now we're an hour darker, so when we get to um, it's going dark now about half six. And it's three o'clock now, so I've got three and a half hours light to play with. So it gets to the point where you actually debate is it even worth going to the pub for a quick pint as a distraction when you're going to possibly be losing an hour's so worth of light. You don't really want to be pitching up in dark. We'll see. We'll see how long this walk's going to sort of take and then we'll decide. It's even now. Right here. I could get across the height to there. Absolutely no problem at all, bigs and box. Anyway, let's just crack on. Look at that little beauty. Just hidden in there. A heron, if I'm not mistaken. You're just walking along with your phone. Or you're chatting to your mates. You're not paying attention. You would never even spot that. What a little beauty. Anyway, I'm not going to draw too much attention to him because he's trying to stay hidden in plain sight by the looks of him. Oh, hey, up. Oh. Just keep watching. Let's see what he does. You can take off, mate. Look at that. It's an absolute stunner. Forget blob squatches. Blob heron. I kind of don't want to turn camera off just in case he does take off. Right, I'm going to leave him. Cut what we got here. Some temporary, contemporary rhubarb. Although it don't look like it's very ripe picking so you have to price them out so i think i'll uh, leave that there no idea where i am uh, i'm just walking along this river <laughs> hoping to see an aqueduct in the distance so i know i'm near my destination but you know when i think about it see this is what the problem is when i'm out i get distracted so easily by stuff Look at these mushrooms. Rah. They look like lampshades, what fairies use for their little living rooms. What calls that? <laughs> yeah, but I, I was thinking about it, and you know, I, pro I probably walked about from where my dad left me. I probably walked about two or three miles, which you know, with, with what I've done this year, walking wise, it's now. And at least this is all flat. It's not like when I were in lakes and I was heading up to Kirkstone Pass. That was tough. Anyway, shut up and let's crack on. Quick update, bigs and bogs. Um, I've been done dirty by the map. I thought I was going to come out with a boy. And I was looking forward to a nice cold pint. But instead, I've had to settle for a coffee at the... Dreadwood Tea Room. So yeah, that's currently where I am. Uh, I've got options. One is to head up onto the moors and find somewhere to camp, or I can head back to the river and camp in you know, the small stretches of woods that are along there. Um, problem is, is there's loads of footpaths around here and it's well travelled by walkers and hikers and not dirty wild campers like me so it'll have to be a stealthy one if I do go back into the woods uh, probably won't have a fire um, so yeah but it's about, it's about four o'clock now so I've got two and a half hours of light left to find somewhere to uh, 
get settled down for the night. So yeah, hopefully the next time you see me, I'll, I'll be tent up. <laughs> Right guys, don't mind me. <laughs> so that looks like it's going to be home tonight. Yeah, I left the cafe, more or less walked all the way back to Bolton Abbey. <clears throat> I thought the situation is getting dire here. I need to find somewhere to camp. Toronto! It's nearly half five, so it is going to be getting dark quite soon. So yeah, I found Thankfully, this, I'd hide this wood up on the map. Um, and yeah, it, it runs along the bridle, bridle way, so <clears throat> I'm not actually breaking the law by being on here. Uh, with it being so near a farm, I might have to not have a fire tonight. Anyway, I need to get in here, try and find somewhere to put my tent up. <sighs> right, we're all set up now, bigs and bugs. Found a nice spot in this lovely quiet forest. There's not a peep in here. Uh, got me a little uh, ground fire pit dug up for tonight. Fuss wood that I've foraged, as we all know. It will never, ever be enough. Um, so yeah, it's uh, just gone 6 o'clock, so another 45 minutes that we're going dark. So I feel like a coffee. just feel like a coffee, bigs and bugs. <laughs> but yeah, what have I done today? Um, so I started off at... Oh, this is where my family are going to take the piss out of me. So I don't even know where I was. <laughs> started off at a lovely little tea room, just about, I don't know half a kilometre from Bolton Abbey, uh, left there at two o'clock, walked to the Abbey, that was absolutely beautiful, I had a little mooch around there, uh, followed the river um, on the side opposite to it, and then came to Cavendish uh, Point, I think it was called, or Cavendish something or other, a little cafe area, across uh, the bridge, onto the other side at Forest, went through there, uh, up to style was it style cafe still i can't remember that cafe that i got to which i thought was going to be a pub but it weren't the map did me dirty bigs and bogs so i more or less walked back to bolton abbey again uh by that point it was about five o'clock i reckon so at that point i was starting to get not panic but i was like i need to find somewhere quick really because it's going to be getting quite dark soon. Um, so yeah, I got back to Abbey. And even along the way back, there were quite a lot of places I could have pitched along the river. But the beauty of being in here is I'm not that far from where I'm meeting my dad tomorrow morning. Um, it's a, probably about half an hour walk back, I reckon. And it's all downhill. So it'd be, I'll more or less fly down there tomorrow morning when I'm done. Uh but yeah, uh, followed it back to uh, Bolton Abbey Priory, which is like a holiday home. And the night started from <clears throat> 350 quid a night. So yeah, I weren't doing that. Um, I very, in fact, actually at that stilt cafe, there was a campsite and I very, very nearly went in and inquired if they had any pitches. But I thought, you know what? You always do this all whenever you come on these big adventures where you know, you're not even sure where you're going to end up. You see a B and B, you see a campsite, and it always crosses your mind. But then when you're finally pitched up in this beautiful forest, or you know, by a lake or up up moors, it's all worth it. Because I've not only have I saved pennies, but I'm not going to see anybody tonight. And that's my idea of wild camping. Just me time alone. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, got to Priory and it's across there onto like a, a bridal way and it's it's led me to this woodland. Um yeah, I'm in here now. Um, we're now in autumn, and you know, I don't know if how oh, well it picks up on camera or not, but the leaves are turning, and uh, this is what I was looking forward to, bigs and bogs. You know, I've, I've wild camped now through spring and summer, and as I said to you, you know, it, is it you know, it was challenging to begin with 
physically, but my fitness has increased just naturally. Because I think nothing there for throwing 30 pounds on me back and hiking it for the day and finding somewhere to pitch up. Still full of energy. Um, you know, if, if someone turfed me off now, touch wood, that doesn't happen. I could confidently say I could find somewhere else to camp. Not, you know, as in, in regards to fitness, it, it doesn't really uh, affect me as much as what it used to. <clears throat> um, but, you know, aside from that, it's been pretty easy camping through spring and summer because you've got loads of light and the weather's always going to generally be okay. Um, but, you know, we're getting, it's getting darker earlier now, another couple of weeks, so we're going back. Um, and I'm looking forward to putting more layers on and it being darker for longer and for me just to enjoy a different side of nature outside camping that I've not experienced yet. Um, so yeah, I'm waffling, bigs and bugs, I'm waffling. It's because I'm happy. I'm happy, Mother Nature. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'm just going to chill with my coffee now, get fire going soon, and check in with you all in a little bit. So yeah, that's all for now. Right, biggies and boggies, she's lit. It just looks pitch black on camera, but it's still a tiny bit light. Uh, it's about half seven, got the fire going now. Do you a shy one? Took a bit of TLC to get her going, but she's going nonetheless anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm all uh, set up there with my candles and my lantern and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, my uh, power bank has died and I'm on 50% battery, so I'm going to have to really conserve so I can do some filming tomorrow. So I'm going to bid you all adieu for tonight and I'm just going to chill out now. Enjoy me fire. And uh, yeah, see you all tomorrow morning. Night night. Morning everybody. Morning bigs and bogs. Jeez. Yep, power bank, as you know, died. So they found it as well. <laughs> so I've luckily there he is. <laughs> Come to rescue me. Just had some breakfast at this cafe. Um yeah, well I've had a bacon butter. Yeah. So, lad inside kindly let me charge my phone up for 10 minutes. Um, so, yeah, now that Dad's here. Shout out, Dad. Yeah, I'm here now. Taxi's here. <laughs> I'm going to finish this one off. Um, if you made it through to end the video, thanks as always for watching. Leave a comment if you want, subscribe, all that hot jazz. I'll see you all further on down the road. Bye bye. Oh,